What's up everyone, it's Scotty with MoneyVest. So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the technicals of the market and some data points and research study on volatility as well. So hope you all enjoy this video and find it helpful. Make sure that you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, I would really appreciate that. And links to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining our MoneyVest community. Of course, getting access to all the MoneyVest members videos. So these are members only videos 40 plus videos that you can access. And of course, Excel spreadsheets with our valuations, volatility, S&P 500, technicals, market breadth, intrinsic values, and, and my entire shopping list as well. And the 20 plus Discord channels, including trade ideas and trade alerts as well. So all the links with that 16% annual discount is going to be down below. And also do connect with me on Instagram. I do post a lot of really interesting stories and not to mention profit and loss statements from the portfolio updates. And I will be posting a lot of reels and shorts on uh, personal finance and investing tips, strategies, and techniques as well. So links gonna be down below. Uh, again, we'll love to have you on board. Definitely do check them out. So this right here is a research report that was uh, conducted by investing.com. History is repeating itself to perfection so far in 2023. Of course, we have learned that so far in the first half was absolutely robust relatively weaker third quarter and fourth quarter is now very, very bullish towards the end of the year, November, December seasonality wise, obviously suggesting a very nice uptick. November so far, we're up over 7% for the S&P, not to mention the NASDAQ is also up very, very nicely with a historical drop in volatility. Volatility, as I mentioned before, is coming down to its lowest level in over three years. Since it's pandemic lows, we are coming down to the lowest level in volatility, right? VIX is a very good indicator for fear. Uh, and has undergone a significant downturn, plummeting over 41% in the past four weeks from 21 to 12.4. And this marks the ninth most substantial four-week drop in its entire history, right? So that's why we have come down to really, really low percentiles. We're looking at less than 17, 18 percentiles, and it is very, very rare for the VIX to be trading at these levels. And of course, we do have uh, this right here are the last nine instances the volatility has dropped 40 plus percent uh, to come down to sub 12, sub 15 levels. So 2016, 53% drop reaching 12. 2018, dropping 50%, coming down to 14.6. 2020, 45% drop coming down to 20. Uh, again, 2020, 2021, 2013, 2012, 2020, and then current year 2023. We've seen a very substantial four week drop of 40 plus percent coming down to 12.5. Now, when that happens, the good thing is that markets are on a very strong footing. So we are seeing a lot of momentum to the upside. And as a result, one year later, the markets are showing a very nice upward trend with only one exception. Nine months later, barring two occasions, it exhibited a very nice upward trajectory. And six months later, with only one exception, it registered an increase um, as well. So markets, technically speaking, are on a very nice momentum higher. There's no doubt about it. And as a result, the gains basically continue, but of course, with some pullbacks and corrections along the way, because volatility as low as it is, obviously means that there is a potential for spike, which means markets can come down. And I did some analysis going back as far as 25 years worth of NASDAQ and, and uh, volatility analysis. The correlation has broken down 12% of the times. In other words, in the last 20 plus years, the correlation between the volatility and the NASDAQ has only broken down at 12 and a half percent. In other words, 88% of the times they both move in opposite direction with a negative coefficient of 0.6196. So that is something to keep in mind because 12 and a half percent is actually really, really low, right? So the probability for them to move in the opposite direction and for the volatility to operate as it's intended to do very, very significant, 88% probability uh, with, of course, a negative coefficient of point, uh, negative 0.61. Uh, and considering how low it is, we got to be careful here. And of course, market breadth and technicals do suggest we're trading in a very overbought, overextended market. Now, the eight bullish days so far at the end of November, the renowned eight day stretch at the close of November signals a highly favorable period for the markets. In the case of the S&P 500, dating back as far as 1950, the days from the 23rd to the 30th have proven consistently interesting. In fact, the market has never, on average, experienced a decline during this time frame. Can you think, of, can you believe that? Today is the 27th, we are on 27, 28, 29, 30th. So it's possible that markets may have marginal upside here. And that's, again, I think something I mentioned over the market update video as well, that maybe this is the last week which I believe if I were a man of predictions, if I were basically putting money, uh, I would predict, again, I don't like to make predictions, but 
as I'm saying, uh, could, this week could be the last, one of those last weeks where we do see the markets marginally move up to S&P 4600, NASDAQ 14.4, um, and then, of course, five consecutive weeks, the probability drops down even further to less than 6%, uh, going back as far as 1990s, that the market's going to have those another green week. So next week could perhaps be one of those weeks where we do see a bit of a pullback and a little bit of a correction or a red week as well. Something to keep in mind, but going back, here's my 1950, the days from 23rd to 30th have proven to be consistently interesting. In fact, the market has never on average experienced a decline during this time frame. It's just astonishing in 1950s to now. Like we're looking at 73 years worth of data and this has a 100% record in this time frame. So we'll find out if this week is going to be strong enough. Uh, I think yesterday, again, the markets were, uh, on Friday, of course, the markets were uh, somewhat flat to slightly down. Uh, but we'll find out, you know, what today has in store and what this week has in store for us. Now, U.S. dollar has also been coming down and we talked about the trouble trifecta, right? We talked about the dollar, we talked about the yields, we talked about the oil prices. They all were pushing higher since July up until October. And as a result, markets were struggling, they were coming down. And as a result, uh, we have seen the correction that we did in the S&P and the NASDAQ. But since October, they have now started to reverse back down. So yields are down, dollar index is down, and crude oil prices are selling off. And as a result, markets are rotating back to the upside. Now, before we get any further, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure that you drop a like and also do check out the 70% discount for the Cyber Monday sale. This is going to expire tonight. So after Monday night, it is going to go away. Uh, full access to all four courses, fundamental analysis, technicals, options, and psychology. This is the biggest sale of the year, 70% off. And the coupon code is going to be Cyber Monday. And all individual courses are going to be 50 to 60% off, including bundles as well. So definitely do take advantage of that while it's here. Again, expires tonight. And this right here is going to be a trading view. Cyber Monday sales, 70% off. Take advantage of that as well because I think it's uh, it's a, one of the best software, charting software and platforms out there in my opinion. Now, this right here, investor sentiment has also been improving and it's actually trading at its higher levels from its historical averages. Uh, right now, we're looking at 43.8% uh, for the investor sentiment, which is a very, very strong bullish sentiment here that prices will rise over the next six months uh, and it's higher than its average of 37.5% and expectations that prices will decline over the next six months is dropped down to 28.1%. That's remaining below its historical average of 31% as well. So markets are certainly, uh, you know, positioned well, technically speaking, but I would still be cautious considering the volatility is really low. Today, it's up almost 5% right now. And QQQs, as a result, is slightly lower uh, pre-market. So we are seeing it down about 10 basis points, so not a huge deal. But SPY uh, is also down about 14, 15 basis points considering how overbought and overextended we are from a technical standpoint. So I'm not saying that we're gonna see a big pullback or a big correction or a dip, but something to keep in mind because the risk reward certainly is not in the favor of the bulls right now. Um, technicals are, right? Technicals are very strong and that's really where the recency bias is coming from because of the bullish sentiment in the overall market. But this is exactly when uh, you know recency bias kind of takes over and clouds our judgment that look, the prices are higher, risk is high right now on the long side. And that's exactly why we need to be cautiously optimistic, something that I've mentioned in our previous videos in the market updates over the last couple of days. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And what do you think about the markets going forward? Uh, volatility is low, crude oil prices are coming down. That's kind of helping the markets. Uh, dollar index and the yields also rolling over. That's also helping the markets continue on this momentum higher. But of course, collectively, when you look at the market breadth, when you look at FANG stocks and Magnificent 7 and the markets as, 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 as on aggregate, we are overbought and overextended. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a bit of a pullback here very, very soon, uh, considering where we are. So this week could still be marginal green considering 100% win rate from 1950s. But next week is when I could expect for the markets to roll over um, moving forward. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 70% Cyber Monday sale for TradingView, 70% off on all the bundle courses, four courses. Coupon code is going to be Cyber Monday. Again, does expire tonight at midnight. So take advantage while it's still here. And uh, as always, happy investing. I'll see you all in the next video.